Francis George, good throw to the 25, to the 20. Hey, George breaks the tackle and loses the football. There's the corner, Poole still on his feet. Poole, touchdown, Polo Park! Good evening, sports fans, and welcome to St. Paul City Conference Football. I'm Meg Stevenson, and alongside me is my broadcast partner, Broderick Bell. And Broderick, we're here for a wonderful rivalry in this conference. You know, some football teams, they like to play for a greasy old pig named Floyd or maybe a axe that Paul Bunyan lost or some oaken bucket. But tonight, we have Scots and we have Minutemen, yes. and they're playing for a musket. Okay. What a wonderful rivalry. Yes. On this beautiful, beautiful fall evening, we're ready to take on this wonderful rivalry between the uh, Open Central School Minutemen and the Highland Park Scots. And you and I both had a chance, Broderick, this week to talk to both of these coaches. We have David Zajcek over at Highland and Scott Howell here at Central. And we know that these are two coaches who respect one another. They respect the way they coach their teams to play football and we know that this is a very very heated rivalry and these two teams right now when you look at the standings are bunched right in the middle Harding Highland Park and Central two and two in the conference and Harding is hosting Como Park tonight on what could have a big impact on the standings but right now the game that counts for these two is right here it's bragging rights in the neighborhood and it's a game that's been terrifically close uh, these past few 10 years or so. In fact, uh, since uh, David uh, Zajcek has come on board, he's uh, had six contests with Coach Howell and they've split, they're three and three. So we look at the keys to the game. We know that Highland Park uh, definitely has to stop this tremendous run game that belongs to the Central Minutemen. They're averaging 225 yards on the ground per game. And so when they're out on offense, the Scots also want to make sure that they're playing hard on every play. And if they can hold Central to 20 points or under, they feel like they've got a good chance to be in this game. On the other side of the ball, Central has got to work on their turnover. It's been a big problem, the amount of turnovers they've had so far this season. They want to have a really solid performance from their quarterback, Terrell Fraser, and try not to give up the big plays to Highland. So we're ready for this kickoff, and what do you expect in this game? Well, you know, the, both these teams are, uh, both these coaches are six and six against each other. And, well, to be quite frankly, to be quite frank with you, may I, I smell rubber, and I, it'd be interesting to see how this is gonna go. They're, they're evenly matched, and this should be quite a, a good game. So we're underway, and the kickoff is in the air, and it's coming down, fielded on about the 18-yard line, and a hard nice tackle. tackle right at the 25-yard line. Good tackling there. Picked him up and put him down. That's the way you draw it up on the board. Now I was talking to Coach Howell, and he was complaining about his guys aren't tackling too well. Well, Meg, he looked pretty good on that one, didn't he? So let's take a starting lineup here now for the uh, uh, Highland Park Scots down on their line. Appenzeller, Abraham, Markham, McBeef and Ellis make up the starting line. Look like Central's out in a 4-3 defense. Look, at we've got four receivers split out to the left. Quick little bubble screen, and boy, Number that one was scouted out. Number 20 for Central followed his keys real well. He knew that was coming. So we take a look at the defensive line for Central. We've got Volkert, Olsen, Axlis, and Mitchell Brown on the line up front for the Minutemen. Linebackers, Fralix, Herrera, and Larson. Second down of 14. 
Diop. Nice run. Did he get that back? Junior quarterback Pizum Eyob on the carry. Not quite back to the original line of scrimmage. We're looking at about third and 11 and continuing on with the starting uh, lineup for the secondary. Castile Smaller, DJ Johnson, Dante Jones, and Tony Robinson make up the backfield on defense. Now, Meg, we're going to see if they can stretch this defense out now. We need a third down play. He's going to have to go deep with his passing. He ups back. He's under pressure. Gets it off to his tight end. Incomplete. Hyman's going to have to do something a little bit different on that. He's going to have to not uh, throw those short routes when you when you want to need when you need the yardage. Yes, you understand that if you throw the ball and, and have and make your athletes make plays, that's fine. But Central is going to snuff that out. He needs to go ahead and stretch Central out and, with his passing game. Punches so, up and away, and it's short. Shanked off to the right side and going backwards. Highland's defense is up against the wall now, man. So Julian Munoz on the punt, and that's not the result he was hoping for. And as a result, Central is going to have their very first possession in terrific field position. Looking at their uh, skill positions, quarterback Terrell Frazier, Larson at wide receiver, Dante Jones, tight end at Horton, DJ Johnson, and Mikhail Frelix are the star running backs for this vaunted rushing attack for Central. First down from the 21. Frazier's back. And a great carry off the right tackle by DJ Johnson. I talked to Coach Howell earlier this week and he said he wanted to shorten this game. One of the re one of the ways to shorten this game is do exactly what he's doing now. Keep the ball on the ground and, and uh, utilize some control. On the offensive line for Central, we have Christian Atlas, Antonio Nicholas, Will Bolo, Martin Estes, and Sam Hansen. And they obviously are very good at what they do based on the number of yards this team's getting. They're opening some holes for their running backs. Tremendous yards this year. They're doing outstanding. Frazier under center. Handoff right up the middle. And this time they're waiting. So Johnson on the carry, but he was met almost immediately by number 95. Paul Simon, defensive tackle, a junior, 5'11", 300 pounds. Well, he stepped up in the hole nice there and filled it great. And drove him back. That was a good play by Paul. They're going to need lots of that because Scott Hall is going to keep running at him tonight. Linebackers for Highland, Tyree Johnson, Diaz, DeMarco Percy, and Julian Munoz. Frazier brings his team up to the line. A big early third down and one here. A test for the defense for Highland. Handoff goes to the fullback straight ahead. It's going to be a close, but it looks like he's got the first down. Diving in there behind his line was nice Mikhail job. Frelix, 5'11", 190-pound junior. First and goal to goal. In the backfield for the defense for Highland, we have Mike Jenkins, Prentice Cobbins, and Ronald Johnson. So uh, I think based on the way the offense works for the Minutemen, Broderick, we can expect to see a lot of defensemen up close to that line of scrimmage. What would you guess? Oh, absolutely. He's going to have a few folks in the box, and, and justifiably so. Central's going to run that ball at him. It is the right strategy for Highland. So it's first down from the 10 yard line. Seems to be a bit of a delay here. However, Meg, I wouldn't be surprised if uh, Scotty might do a little quick misdirection or a little play action in this. He's been known to do those type of things. He's definitely got the speed to get to the outside. Uh, when we were talking with uh, Coach uh, Zajcek, he was uh, talking about the fact that he's got some good speed this year yes. and uh, he likes to play a lot of uh, people on defense. And the other thing that he talked about was that uh, he favors a platoon system. Yes. And he's hoping that he can 
hang in there, running guys in and out, and uh, keep them fresh on the defensive side of the ball and start to wear down that offensive line a little bit for Central. Well, he says this is the fastest team he's ever had, so in athletic. So let's see what they have now. This is gut check time right now in the red zone. First stop to tell we got That's a great stop there. I'll tell you what, he meant that one, didn't he? Outstanding job there by Highland. DJ Donson did not have a chance to get even looking upfield. He was lucky he held on to the ball. So that was a tremendous stop. Boy, he stepped up nice. Defensive end came in. Loss on the play. Tommy Simmons did a nice job. Second down now and 16 to the goal line. Frazier under center. Here comes a blitz. He's back, he's looking to pass. He gets it off. Complete to his fullback. Mikhail Felix. He's covered up off immediately, but a nice job by Frazier. Kept his cool. Oh, it's a classic case. Zajek knows exactly what Scott's gonna do down here. You see him several times run that short pass or the play action and he's it and also the quick pitch and he he come with the blitz that was a good idea by Zychek and great job by the quarterback to get rid of it so third down the ball is on about the eight and a half yard line big play early in this game Brian. absolutely Frazier under center eye backfield and we've got a whistle and we've got a flag and a delay of game that hurts. Yes, it does. I'm not sure if Frazier was seeing something and trying to check off, but maybe just a late getting that play into the huddle. Well, I'm sure Frazier saw something, and he probably was trying to check it off. I think you're right in, in your first assumption. I think he saw something. He's getting ready to check it off. And... Frazier's a young quarterback, so... Sometimes you get a little skittish. So third down, the ball is backed up to the 14-yard line. Let's see what the play is. Frazier's back. He's looking to the outside. Passes in the air. Up and well defended. Yes. Yes, Flags. that is the proper call. This is you think it was face guarding? Yes. Okay. That is the right call. It didn't seem like they touched one another, but face guarding maybe on the defender. You have to make an attempt to go after the ball. We'll take a look and see what we see here on the replay. It's a beautifully thrown uh, corner route. You're right, he never turned around. Never turned around. That's an excellent call by the referee. Half the distance. I think we might see some fullback action right now. And that'll give Central first and goal. So an automatic first down on the pass defense penalty. I'll tell you what, Meg, this is gut check time for Highland Park. Let's see what they're made of. Ball is on about the six and a half yard line. Frazier under center, eye backfield. Hands off to Johnson. It's hard running up the middle of that line. second down and four. There's some big boppers in there. Absolutely. Paul Simon, Jaquez Mitchell. Mitchell's 275 pounds. Simon is 300. Central's gonna run right at that line right now. Keep it nice and concise and go right at them. So the ball's just inside the five, maybe gain about a yard, yard and a half, second down. Frazier under center, it's a pitch. Johnson and a beautiful tackle. Outstanding job by the defensive end for Highland again. Knifing in there, Timmy Simmons. That's the second time he's done it this evening. Beautiful play. You know, Highland is going to be ready for him on the, on the edges. They are very athletic, and that's where he's put them. He's saying to Coach Howe, you must run this thing in the middle right now. And I think Coach Howe can get the job done if he goes up in the middle. Highland's doing a great job, though, of, of stepping up in there and making some plays. Third down, ball on about the uh, eight-yard line. Third and goal. Hand off Johnson up the middle. And he is stopped short of the goal line, just inside the five, maybe the four, three and a half yard line. 
I wouldn't be surprised if he runs a misdirection or a play action right now. Julian Munoz was in there on that tackle, helping out some good gang tackling going on by that defense. Absolutely. So here we are, fourth down. Down and dirty. Fourth and goal from the four yard line. Frazier under center, he's got receivers split out on each end. High backfield. He's looking to pass, it's a quick pass, it's out. Knocked up by the air by the defender. And it came down in the hands of the receiver. Touchdown Central. Jordan Larson. Jordan Larson's one phenomenal, phenomenal athlete. You know, Jordan also plays basketball for Coach Hall, and he, that was an athletic move. He actually had the ball knocked out of his hands, and he caught the rebound. It was a great job. It was very well defended. Uh, the D-back was right there, leaped up, batted yes. the ball, and it, he kept his concentration and gathered that ball in. Absolutely. He got his hand on the ball. Here we go for the extra point. Kick is down, it is up, and it is no good. Off to the left. Six nothing, here we go. <laughs> Typical, <laughs> Highland will come right back. So uh, Dylan Hale, Jr. Uh, was off to the right on this extra point. Let's take a look, Broderick, and look at the replay here on this first touchdown of this game. Here's the pass. Jordan Larson, And look you can at this. see what a beautiful job yes. uh, timing his uh, leap on the defensive end was Prentice Cobbins. And Jordan just kept his concentration and gathered that ball in for the touchdown. Outstanding job. Jordan so really the made minute the play. So the Minutemen strike first. Yes. Six to nothing. And going deep for Highland, back to receive our Cobbins, number 85. Tell you what, Meg, Highland needs to get a good return here. They need to get that ball out and get some things going here. I want to point something out. It's 448 left to go in the quarter. See what happens when you do that ball control? Well, that is, and uh, Highland needs to do a little ball control of their own because they can't keep handing this ball over. Run back. And taking it out to about the 15-yard line. So, you know, as we take a look at the uh, uh, quarterback rating, uh, you can see that Central really racks up the yardage. Look at that, 509 total yards for quarterback Terrell Fraser. But take a look, six interceptions, three touchdowns, and you go across the way to uh, Fism Eob, and his total yardage isn't as much, and he's also got four interceptions, more interceptions than touchdowns. So we have a handoff on the first down play and plowing ahead for about two yards. But it was a good two yards, I mean, that's the kind of football that Highland needs to get back to. Just bring it right up to him. Let's run the ball right at him. Keep it nice and concise. What we call hit him in the mouth. That's the kind of football this is. There's a fullback in front of him. Look at that fullback right and there. And up the huh? fullback right up the gut. Plowing his way ahead. Almost up to the 25 yard line. Goes Randy Markham, the senior fullback. Six foot, 200 pound fullback. Has one touchdown so far this year. Well, you know, the offensive coordinator for Highland Park is Ron Woodbury, and he's not going to be real fancy. He's an ex offensive coordinator from Highland University, and he really is going to be real conservative in his play calling here right now. Third and three, delayed Third handoff. There's a good run. Excellent run by the tailback. That's close to a measurement, Meg. This is the man who uh, Coach calls his playmaker. This is Zach Du Bois, and uh, Zach is the leading uh, scorer for the Scots. He's got three touchdowns so far, and he's averaging almost nine and a half yards per carry. Tell you what, that was a tough run right there. Nice That's little call on the delayed handoff. Absolutely. So the first first down on the board for the Scots. 30 yard line. 
And a quick handoff this time and a burst up Did the middle. you see that block by Mark Cohn from Highland? Outstanding job to, to break, break him free. That's a tough fullback in there. That's exactly what your fullback's Number supposed to do. Coach Howell's linebackers are going to have to step up and meet that guy and meet him hard and fast. They're back too far. And I think Coach Woodbury sees that right now. Dominic Moore hit that hole in a hurry, too. Absolutely. Great job. Eight yards on that carry. Uh-oh, we're spreading that. Second and two. Inside handoff to the fullback. Fullback. Tough football. Right up the gut. Up to about the 46-yard line. I, I'll tell you what, you have to like the way these two teams are playing football right now. <laughs> those, those lines are firing out. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, there's a little electricity on that football field. This is a wonderful, wonderful Absolutely. rivalry. Absolutely. I mean, they're going with it, going at it hard. First and 10, the ball's on the 46 yard line. E Bob under center. And we'll see offsides or motion. Good hard call by the ref, by the up, by the uh, quarterback to move Easy them up. Easy for you to say. I know. <laughs> I am a little bit excited. Well, when you see good football like this. <laughs> see, I almost jumped offside myself, Meg. Got both of those defensive ends to jump. That was a pretty good job. Oh, yeah. He was barking it good. Something about hearing that hit, hit, you know, you just want to just go after it. So first and five for the Scots. Inside Minutemen territory for the first time. Ball in the 49. Hand off to the tailback, squirting around, still plowing ahead. Senior I, Dominic Moore. I have to tell you, Meg, this is the hard, this is not the Highland Park that I used to know. Uh, Highland Park, this is a hard charging team right now. These guys are all business. Looks like Central's gonna beef up their defensive line right now. I think they need to. I think they can get it done. Linebackers need to step up early. So did he have some fun with this down? He got second and short? Absolutely. He is, he's back to pass. He's now he's gonna run and he's got the first down and more. <laughs> Wonderful recognition by the young quarterback to see that open space and pull the ball down. Yeah, but if I'm that quarterback, I wouldn't run it too much more. Did you see how he got hit at the end of that run? <laughs> Central's not messing around either. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful run and a first down, down to the 35 yard line of Central. So this has just been a wonderful steady march right Absolutely. down the field. I like it when the lads are popping the pads. And off to the tailback, strong run, and this time he's corralled fairly quickly. That's a good job by Central. Central starting to measure him up now. Mitchell the, Brown, the, the, the uh, defensive end, was in on the tackle. The defensive coordinator for Central, Dave Gubrud, he's not standing for this right now at all. He's an ex-linebacker from Augustana, and you know how those linebackers can get. I can see the frothing right now. He's going to try and stop this. Second down and a long six, we'll call it. Look at and out of the shotgun, a hike to the quarterback, and he takes it off around left end. Picked up a couple of yards. I think number two from Highland got, got away with the old hook block. He reached out and grabbed one of Central's guy, number 45. He's gonna step up and make the play. It's a great, great move by number two. <laughs> so we've come to the end of the first quarter, Broderick, and uh, just as we figured, just a wonderful, exciting first quarter of football. Central Minutemen, they have the lead, six to nothing. And uh, you look back on uh, a key penalty that gave the Minutemen a yes. second chance, and they took advantage of that. It was a uh, pass defense interference call in the corner of the end zone, and uh, really, the Scots held tough. So here we are. We're going to take a look at a few of... Uh, the statistics for these tremendous young rushers here for the Central Minutemen, D.J. Johnson and uh, Castile Smaller, uh, Terrell and, and uh, Trevon rather, and you look at 
360 yards for Castile Smaller and 436 for DJ Johnson. So you've got uh, seven and a half yards per carry for Johnson, 6.3 for Castile Smaller, and that's gonna be the key for the Scots. Can they slow that duo down? There's Kwame McDonald. Kwame McDonald, imagine that, that he's at this football game. You think he's gonna have a couple of interviews for halftime, uh, Nate? Like I he, don't know. He knows a couple people, you know. Here we go, a big third down play. That's it. Get on the defense and swamped are about four or five of the Minutemen defenders. These are the carries for the Scots. I and he uh, did not have a chance on that play. A huge defensive stop on third down. It'll be fourth down. Dave Gubrud is an and outstanding 18. defensive coordinator. He's not he's a guy to reckon with. And I was wondering it's just a matter of time before he could measure up. That was a big play. Boy, they just came pouring through. Here's Munoz on the punt. And this time he gets off a nice punt, heading towards the corner and into the end zone for a touchback. No return on the punt from the Scots. It'll be first and 10 central for their own 20. And now, I'll tell you what, Meg, Highland's defense has been sitting around now. They've been rested up and they've been watching their offense now. Now, they're going to try and top their offense and get some good licks in themselves. However, Central's going to come crashing at him. I, I think they're, his offense, he's, I know Coach Howell, the way, the way he is, he's going to come crashing at him real tough now, just like Highland did at, at his defense. So this is real interesting stuff here. He's got a bigger fullback in there. See that? <laughs> First down from the 20. Frazier under center. Gives it to his scat back and he's outside. He's got the edge and he breaks the tackle and all the way out to the 35 yard line. Castile Smaller, Travon Castile Smaller, number 20 on a, just a quick run and he popped it out. But I see a flag back there. Uh oh. This may be coming back. It could be a holding call. You see the way he attacked the tackler at the end, the way he just lowered that shoulder there. It's a great run. Right at the a great end here. Job. Watch how he explodes into there. Nice job. Make That's sure exactly that how you teach him. Great job. So a big 10-yard penalty negates that wonderful run. They'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> Frazier under center, drops back, looking to make a quick pass. He's under some pressure, and down he goes. Nice move by David Zajic to bring in a, the inside blitz like that. Great idea. When you're a quarterback, your feet start to get a little antsy when you think you're holding that ball a little too long, and he just wasn't able to find that open receiver, and he wants to be careful with the ball. This is a young quarterback who knows he needs to take good care of the ball. I don't think he dropped back far enough to, to throw that pass. So he didn't get a chance 20. to look. Ball at the 10-yard line. Quick slant pass, and it's caught. I'll tell you what. So Dante Jones did a nice job of coming up with that football and a quick slant pass. Here comes your replay here. I'll tell you what, Meg, there is some head knocking going on down there. <laughs> Third and 15. Frazier comes back to the huddle with the play from the sidelines. Let's see what Coach Howell dials up here. Deep in his own territory, needing 15 yards for the first down. He's going deep. He's got smaller at the tailback position. Wide out, split out at each end. Drops back, lets it go. Oh, <laughs> off the fingertips. He put a little more air on there. I think that kid ran up underneath it. Nice try. 
absolutely gorgeous pass just off the uh, fingertips, I believe, of Dante Jones. I'll tell you what, Meg, I am very impressed with both of these teams. Take another look at that pass. One, two, three, four, five, yeah, he's nice drop, five and, he, and he's in rhythm, steps into that pass, and just off the fingertips. Well defended. It had to be a perfect pass, and he put it right where he needed yes. to, that outside shoulder. Nice so here job. comes the punt. Scott should get good field position. May have been offsides on the defense. We'll take a look, see if they were drawn off. No. So a little. Looks like the special teams coach for Highland is not too happy with that last play. So now it's fourth and ten. Almost blocked, but he gets the punt off. He takes a bounce. Picked up on the run by Highland. He's got a great lane. He's to the outside, and he's all the way down to the 20-yard line, a 30-yard return. Outstanding return by Highland. He didn't, let him, he didn't let him set up at all. Got that ball and just ran. Nice job. Just a terrific run by Prentice Cobbins. Puts his team in excellent field position. First down on the, the 21-yard line. Ebob under center. Fumble almost snap, but he regains control. And that could have been a dangerous play. Got it off to Du Bois without losing control of the football, but uh, didn't it seem like he bobbled that snap? Yes, it was a great recovery by the quarterback. That tells you the kind of athleticism he has. That's exactly what the quarterback needs to do. It's tough to get that reception sometimes from the center. Dominic Moore comes in at tailback, number 16, shotgun formation. Delayed handoff, and boy, he had a little committee of Minutemen waiting there. Absolutely no one fooled defensively on that play, especially up in the front line. Highland needs to be, when they come in that, in that formation, he needs to go ahead and throw it deep. He, it, Central's not gonna bite on it unless he throws it deep and spreads them out. Spread them out and, 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 and make them do something. The boys is back into the backfield. And they, split their fullback out, three receivers out. E Bob rolls to his right, he's under some pressure, gets it off, just a little shuttle pass almost. And great defensive stand on that series by the Minutemen and the Scots went backwards. That was a great offensive uh, uh, re uh, reaction or re you know recoil by the quarterback. You know, he could have, he was trying to make a play and that was good. He was looking downfield, but then his safety receiver was his tailback. Yes. So he dumped it to real quick. Yeah. Oh, great job on a high snap. But he's not able to get the kickoff. So a costly mistake for the Scots on their special teams. And I know this has been an area that's. Yes. It's been kind of a sore spot for Highland. Been a tough uh, go so far this season on special teams, the kicking, the kicking game, and that was a high snap. Munoz did his best to bring it down, but he couldn't corral it. Tell you what, Central was alert on that, though. Way to recover it. So here we go, first and down at the 44-yard line. Frazier back, quick pass out in the flat. Brought in by Dante Jones. Just a nice quick little scamper. Looks like he picked up about seven or eight yards. Yeah, he, he basically put it out to his back and told his back to make a play. Nice job. And over there corralling him for the Scots was Mr. Munoz. Pushing him out of bounds, but not before he gained, gained seven yards on the play. 
I wouldn't be surprised if he does something over here with Jordan Larson now. Second down and about three to go for the Minutemen. Hands off to his fullback, and he plows ahead. Nothing too fancy, just trying to get that first down marker. See what I tell you, he was looking at Jordan Larson all along. <laughs> Give it to the fullback. <laughs> So Alec Mitzika, Jr., 6'2", 230, got the call, and he picked up the first down. Just a real tough run. Yes. So the Minutemen cross the 50-yard line and head into Scott's territory. First down, the ball on the 46-yard line. Frazier under center, eye backfield. Two receivers split left. Here comes a blitz, quick handoff, and tackled almost immediately. Gang tackling, I think, is what we call it. Yes. Everybody meet at the ball. Boy, I'll tell you what, I am really impressed by the, the, the performance of both of these teams. These football players are flying around on yes, this football field are. tonight. They are hitting hard and yes. just giving every play everything they've got. Absolutely. It's exciting football. This is wonderful football. They're not, either side is not giving up, not one minute. Second and 12, loss of two on that play. Here comes a blitz again. It's a quick pitch. Johnson's got the outside. And he's pushed out of bounds. It looks like around the 41 yard line. <laughs> Coach Zaitchek is sending the troops. Absolutely. Just a quick pitch, and he almost got around the outside, but there to push him out of bounds. Number 85. Here we go, big third down, five to go for the Minutemen. Ball on about the 41-yard line of the Scots. Frazier under center, he drops back, he's looking to pass. Beautiful slam pass, and this one is gone for a touchdown! Touchdown, the Minutemen! What a... Just an absolutely beautiful pass on the slant across the middle of the field and he took it, he didn't have to break stride and he is gone all the way for a 41 yard touchdown. Beautiful pass by Frazier. Yes, nice run by Larson. Jordan Larson. So they're gonna go for two. Oh, yeah. Score is 12 to nothing. Gotta get that extra point back. <laughs> Frazier under center. Fumble on the uh, reverse. And so we don't have a successful completion on that two point conversion. They faked the handoff to the fullback and then they had uh, receiver coming around on the end around, it was just a little pitch and it wasn't handled. Tell you what, they sure hit, they're sure hitting out there, aren't they? Boy, some good stuff. So two scores, two touchdowns by the Minutemen. Haven't been able to convert extra points. The Scots need to answer, get something on the board here as they yes. head into the, uh, towards halftime. We'll take a look at the uh, receivers for Central. We have number 28, Dante Jones, and 81, Jordan Larson. And you can see both of them averaging just over 15 yards per catch. And Mr. Larson just boosted his stats a little bit with that last reception. I wonder where he's at in comparison to Mr. What's it, Grisson from over at uh, Arlington. He's leading the conference in, in receptions. That guy, remember him, Meg, when against Humboldt? That kid can catch the ball. I wonder where he is. Geisler, right the next tight, guy, yeah. Geisler, Geisler, yes, the there you go. Geisler. Good, good football player. I wonder where he, his numbers are compared to him. Bet you it's up there now. That was a good catch and run. 
There's a little bounce kick and a fumble, and they recover it. They just dribbled that along the turf, and it went down to about the 30-yard uh, line, 31-yard line, and so that's where the Scots are going to take over. And they want to come out and see if they can answer this touchdown with one of their own. Well, Hy that's exactly it. Highland needs to score. You think about it, uh, they've had some good opportunities. Yes. I mean, they've had the ball inside the 50-yard line and looked like they were driving, and the drives have stalled. So they have shown that they could move the ball, but they just haven't been able to punch it in. Bob in the center. It's an end around and waiting to make the tackle for a huge loss of probably about seven or eight yards. Central saw that one coming. That did not fool anybody. No. Highland's in a little bit of a hole right now, Meg. That was, uh, that's not what they want to have for their young quarterback, second and long. The four receivers, who split out, Ebon drops back, and he is under pressure and going down and sacked. Coming up with the sack, number 58, Aaron Volker, the senior for the Minutemen. A little bit of a breakdown with the line with Highland Park. They need to go ahead and keep their composure, protect that quarterback. So the Scots are going in the wrong direction. I don't think we're going to see anything too fancy here no. on third and 30. No. I think we're going to see the ball handed off to Mr. DeBoas. And there he goes, right up the middle. Just try and move that ball out a little bit. Gets it out across the 20. Yeah, but what scares me is the kicking game for Highland. It's, it's been problematic this evening. <laughs> well, Julian Munoz, the junior, is going to come in. He's averaged uh, about 30 yards on his punts. The first one we we want to forget, but the second punt was a good one. This, a is good a, this is a nice punt coming down. Jones. Outstanding coverage. And he bounces off that coverage, and he's off and to running to the right side, up over the 40 and down to almost the 35-yard line. Boy, it looked like the uh, Scots were all set to make a great tackle. If he would have kept his feet, I think he would have taken him down again. I think he left his feet when he, when he went after him. Here comes the replay. Great kick, uh, great punt by Julian. He's right there. See, he left his feet, yes. Okay. That'll do it. And Keenan Montgomery, the young sophomore, and this is uh, a young football player that Coach Howell is very high yes. on. Very high on. Boy, you can see he has some speed. Oh, yeah. Good, nice job of bouncing off that attempted tackle. Frazier under center. Here's a pitch to Jones. To Johnson, DJ. Around the right side. The corner for Highland needs to step up. He saw that he was running at him, and he seemed to wait there for him to get there. He needs to come up and make a play. Yeah, that was number 20, Castile Smaller, on the carry. Nice job by Castile. And not DJ Johnson, number 20 on the carry. Anytime you can pick up four or five yards on first down, you're in good shape, and that's just what they did on that quick pitch to the right side. We've got an official's timeout. Something was out on the field. Had to get the trainer across. Yeah. Receiver comes in motion, Jones. Quick handoff to the fullback, and he is stopped in his tracks. Nice job by Highland. Absolutely no gain on that play. Highland right now needs to stop the bleeding, so to speak. Absolutely. We, they, they cannot afford to give up another score no. at this point in the game. They need to go ahead and 
force them to do something here and preferably to get them punting and and uh, get back on offense and maybe take a maybe not necessarily score but just take it into halftime and talk it over a little bit. Center in the backfield. Bakes looks for the pitch. The ball's fumbled. It's loose. The snap is covered. A little trickeration and a one awry. Did he bring the safety on it in on that blitz? I didn't see it. Meg, it looked like he, he came from far to, to make that play. Let's see if we can track it down on the replay, Broderick. Yeah, yeah. He come away. There he is. Yeah, that's the safety, isn't it? No, I think that's number 63. Okay. Yep, Timmy, yep. guess it's our man, Timmy Simmons. Timmy. Having a great game on defense. Defensive end. Hand off the tailback straight ahead. Uh -oh. Looks like Coach Woodbury is saying enough of this nonsense. Let's get back to the bread and butter. Oh, yeah. Let's do what we do best. Yes. Give me a fullback. Let's go get him. <laughs> so a nice run by their uh, leading rusher. Tailback, Zach Du Bois. Uh oh, looks like we got isolation to the right here. Yep, here he comes. Hand off again to the tailback, and he's got the first down. That's exactly what you have to do. Get back to the basics, you know. Nice run by Dominic Moore. Well, you know, that was just a huge turnover. Yep. And you need to take advantage of that now and just march yep. this ball right down the field and punch it in. We've yep. got about two minutes left to go in this first half, so this is a key possession for the Scots. Time they snap the ball is going to be about two minutes to go in the half. It's a fake to the tailback. Ebot keeps it. Ball comes loose, but I'm pretty sure they're calling him down on the ground, and they are. Looks like he may have picked up about a half a yard. I'll tell you what, if I were Highland, if I were Highland, I'd keep giving it to the two back. That's the the half back, and keep you know keep well, going with it. Heavy dosage of the two back. They're going to have to keep an eye on the clock, Rod. They've yeah. got about a uh, minute 45 here. It would be less than that by the time they snap the ball. So they got an iso. Down. They got an iso to the left. Here he comes. Hand up to the tailback. Fights up the middle. Picks up about four yards. Heavy dosage of that tailback. I'll tell you what, that's what he needs to do. More with the carry, it'll be third down and six. Or as we, us coaches would say, the two back, the dancer. So Coach Woodbury, <laughs> uh, the offensive coordinator, he's keeping his cool. We got oh, yeah. a big third down play here coming up. We've got about third and five. Minute to go, tailback again, and boy, they're ready this time. We'll see, I'm thinking he's gonna have to call a timeout. Uh, he's gonna, he's gonna fit big. Talk it over. But you know what? Even if they don't score, this is the kind of message he needs to send to Central. This trivia. The conference record for the most points scored in a losing game. Why would we want to know that? Okay. I'd say 49. In a losing game. Why not? Well, I think that's that's probably a good guess. I'll go with 40 because that's my age. Okay. <laughs> I was thinking third. <laughs> <laughs> and if you if you listen. Happy birthday to you, Meg. If, you, if you listeners believe that I'm 40, let's see what what real estate Absolutely. do I have? Absolutely, <laughs> I do. Dog on it. <laughs> Oh, well, as long as my, my dad's not listening, we're okay. <laughs> you kid you. His dad's thinking, wow, if she's 40, I'm a lot younger. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's strap our chin straps and see what the Scots have in mind here. Huge Wait, he, play. He has to pass, and it has to be more than just a two-yard pass. He's got to go down the field with this thing. And Bob the shotgun. Here comes a blitz. 
Gets it off to his tailback, and boy, oh boy, the Minutemen were ready for that, and in on the defensive stop, Jordan Larson. Meg Central knows that he's not going downfield. Coach Woodbury's got to throw the ball downfield. So a huge stop for the Minutemen. 51 seconds to go. Now, Highland, it's gut check time. And you better believe he's going to try and put one to Jordan Larson before halftime's over with. Jordan Larson was just shadowing that tailback. Oh, yeah. <laughs> He's split out wide right right now. We'll see what the plan is. Long count. Frazier back. Good pass. You called it. Yes. I think that pass was right on the money. Maybe slightly behind, but it looked like one that yeah. Larson could have corralled. Uh, it, it, it hit the receiver in the wrong spot, his hands, well, we'll every time. That. Yeah, there. <laughs> you know, sometimes when you're going over the middle, oh, oh, yeah. you might be inclined to take a little peek yeah. to see who's out there. The peripheral vision. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Especially in this game. Absolutely. <laughs> Frazier drops deep. Now he's going to try and get away and scramble and he is tackled immediately I'll tell you what i'm impressed with the way highland is playing defense i believe that was paul simon in on the tackle they are doing a nice job central's gonna throw put a couple in the air here now i'll tell you what this one's going see. deep Time for one more play. Well, if they stop the clock, it might give the Scots a chance to. Uh, oh, he's going to throw a deep one. Here we go. Deep That's down. going deep. He lets it go. It's up in the air. Battle away and intercepted. Coming back the other way for the Scots. And it's taking it out of bounds at the 45 yard line. Time has expired. Those deep ones are good punts, don't you think, huh? <laughs> Just as good as a punt. <laughs> well, you, you you say that now, but if that if uh, the defender had taken that all the way back for a touchdown, I think uh, Coach Hall might have been second guessing himself a little bit. A oh. Nice, nice play by the defender on the Scots. Piece of cake. Central's got it all under control. Don't worry about it, Mick. <laughs> I tell you, uh, <laughs> Prentice Cobbins has made some great plays yes. from his cornerback position for his team this year. In fact, he had one. Uh, where he took the ball away from a receiver and ran it back 85 yards for a touchdown. So he's done it before. Absolutely. <laughs> well, we come to halftime, and Central has a 12 to nothing uh, lead in what we would have to say is just a hard-hitting yes. competition between these two schools uh, who love to play against each other. Oh, and I'm very impressed with the way they're playing. Both teams are just giving it an outstanding effort at trying to win this football game. Both both teams are very well coached. Yes. We haven't had a lot of penalties no. uh, to speak of and and miscues. There aren't that many miscues right now. I mean, but Coach Hall says that's been the downfall of his team this year, so let's hope it doesn't show up. Let's let's go back and take a few minutes, Broderick, and look at some of the highlights from this exciting first half of football. Well, I hope part of the highlights is the trivia question all over again. There's the unbelievable first touchdown catch. There's a slant. On the deflection, and then here comes the second. On Boy, the Larson, slant. he really is getting it, isn't he? That kid's a great athlete. And that has to be fun when you catch the ball and you're free and clear. Then and then here's yeah, the uh, that's where he left his feet. See, here's he the young feet. sophomore breaks yeah. away and cuts around the right end and has a really nice return yeah. on the on the punt. Here comes the interception young right Mr. here. Young Mr. Montgomery. Nice job on the interception. Backs it away. Yeah. Prentice Cobbins heads up the field. He's just not able to no. get clear, but I think we're in for a great second half. I think How so. about you? Oh yeah, there's no doubt. Highland's going to go ahead and make the adjustments at halftime right along the central. So I think we're going to really see something here. 
Well, we'll sit back and we'll relax for a little bit here at halftime. Enjoy some of the music from the Marching 100. The Fighting 100. The Fighting 100. Stay tuned and we'll be back with the second half, sports fans. It's a barn burner. We'll be right back now. Welcome back, sports fans, to the second half of this wonderful football game between Central and Highland Park at James Griffin Stadium. And we have a chance to look at some of these first half statistics, Broderick. And 12 to nothing is the score, so obviously that's not as even as Highland Park would like to see it. But take a look at the first downs. They've actually controlled the ball a little better. Uh, turnovers, uh, two in the column for Central. Points off of turnovers, that's okay. Third down conversion. So really, uh, when you look at it, we talked a little bit about it. The kicking game came back to bite right. Highland Park a little bit. Yeah. They, they had a tough snap yeah. where uh, it right. sailed over the uh, sailed over the uh, punter's head, and he wasn't able to corral it and get the kickoff, and that gave Central good field position. And then that first very early punt that uh, shanked off the right side of his foot. So. Anyway, we're all set to go. We're looking forward to this exciting second half. And when you talk about the first half, Broderick, we are uh, very impressed with the way quarterback Frazier handled this club and avoided the big mistakes, the big turnovers, did a great job moving his team uh, into scoring position on those drives. We Absolutely. also were very impressed with the defensive play of the Highland Scots. We thought they were really hitting very hard, and we in particular we're remembering some very outstanding tackles, some for losses by Timmy Simons and Paul Simon. Right. Did a great job on that line. But here we go, we take a look at the last 10 years and you can just see how closely contested this rivalry is. And you look at 2003, three overtimes to decide that game. We'd take three overtimes tonight, right, Broderick? Absolutely. We would certainly take three overtimes. 2004 was the year that Highland Park last won the St. Paul City Conference title, and that was... Uh, uh, excuse me, hold, hold up. By the way, in 2004, they, they had this outstanding defensive lineman. His, <laughs> his name was Bell, by the way, on the Highland team. <laughs> I don't know the kid, but he, he was pretty good. Duck on it. You're allowed to have your father's pride. Thank you. Outstanding young man who's now playing some college football. You want to tell our listeners? No, where no, he's no, no. Okay. He's just playing tight end for North Dakota State College. Assignment. There we go. Thank you. There we go. We got that in. <laughs> so we're looking forward to the start of the second half, and we anticipate more of what we saw in the first half. And really, for the Scots, they're going to get their hands on the ball first. Yes. And they want to get off to a great start. Yes. So this is an important possession. For the Minutemen, they must make a stop right now. Not give the Scots any hope, because I can, I can guarantee if the Scots get back in this game with a score, because their defense has really yes. been impressive. Yes. So we're gonna look at some of these stats, continue to give you some numbers here, ladies and gentlemen. Looking at the carries here for uh, the Scots and the young quarterback has got a total of 108 yards, but the man who does everything for their team is number two, Zach Du Bois, and you can see he's averaging almost 10 yards of carry and has uh, 275 total yards so so far this season. And this is a young man they need to get off yes. track this second half. Right. Because he's the kid that can break something open for them and get a score. So right. we'll see what the playbook has in store to get the ball in his hands. And one more thing, one more highlight that the stats didn't show. Both lines are doing an exceptionally good job. Doc on it, they're moving, they're helping the team move. 
speaking as an old lineman, you know, we, we look out for each other, dog on it. Okay, so why did I think yeah. that the Scots were getting the ball to start the second I half? Thought. Did you tell me that, Broderick? Yes, I did. Okay. I'm well, sorry. Well, that's my own fault. No. Okay. So here we are. They're ready to kick off. Dante Jones is back deep along with the steel. Onside oh, kick. it's an onside kick. It's up in the air. It's loose and picked up. <laughs> Highland hit him, though. Nice job. Oh, we've got a Highland player yes. down. The guy that hit him. Oh, my goodness. He hurt himself. <laughs> I hope he's all right. He had a good stick. Senior David Steele. The kicker came up and tried the onside kick, and he got that one bounce that yes. got it over the central player, and they had a shot at it. I can't see who's down on the ground. Can you see the number? I thought I saw it for a minute, Meg. Looks like he's moving his legs okay. and He doesn't look very comfortable. No. But it's always a good sign yes. to see. I think he was the one that made the first hit. To Real information about the musket trophy. Central has won the last two years. So we're listening uh, right now as our uh, PA announcer next door is talking about the the musket, the musket, the famed musket trophy, and actually that and is in the press box. Yes. Right now, as we speak, right next door. Oh yeah. The musket trophy. If you wanted to, you could walk next door, Broderick, and you could actually get your hands on the musket trophy and bring it in here. But uh, Central has had that traveling trophy for the last two years, and you know the Scots would like to get it back. Now, Meg, you know I wouldn't, be ha I wouldn't even get a chance to walk out of the stadium with that musket. He's sitting up. The young man is sitting up. I'm still not able to quite see the number. He was. I think he was the first one to hit the guy. He, he might have jammed something, but he hit him pretty good. It looks like it's number 41, Julian Munoz, who's their very tough defensive player for them. That's going to be a big loss if he's out of the game, and the way he's holding his arm, yeah. I don't think that looks good for him coming no. back in anytime soon. No, Munoz has been playing a tough game, too. Oh. Great job at outside linebacker yeah. junior 5'11", 170 pounder. He's been he's the one been helping out with the blitzes. And he's I'm holding that left arm or left shoulder there. I'm, and coming I'm telling you, Meg, if we can get a re replay of this kickoff, he was the guy that hit hit the the receiver first and hit him good. That happens sometimes. So we're ready to go. And there's a handoff to the fullback and running hard. Uh -huh. Nice counter play by Office Central. tackle, number 48, Michael Felix, picks up eight yards. Here comes the replay. You can see it. It's a counter. He'll take a jab step and come over. Nice job. Comes right out of a tackle there, and then he's finally dragged down from right, behind by Felix is one Jaquez kid, Diaz, the middle linebacker. Nice job by Felix. So we've got second and two for the minute man and off in the backfield and taken down for a loss the steel smaller was taken down for a loss nice job by the fullback wonderful job shooting the gap is he the fullback on offense number 42 has come in yeah I'm sure to take over for uh Mr. Munoz, who was hurt. So David Steele. Yeah, nice job by David. Big play here. Third down and Mr. almost Larson. five. Look out for Mr. Larson. Almost batted down, but Larson gets the pass and he's hit quickly, but it looks like he's got enough for the first down. Pass completed to Larson. All right. Okay. You called it. Yes. I love this game. 
He just I knows he's going to get the ball. I'll tell you, Steele was so close to batting that ball down. Yes. He got good penetration, and he was in the backfield, and he just missed. I don't think Coach Hall is going to run that play anymore. <laughs> First down and a big third down play. So Jordan Larson has been Mr. Everything so far for the Central Minutemen. He's had a great game. You know what, Mike? I'd always like to see him in a full backfield. I bet you can really run the ball, too, out of the backfield. Some of the way... Uh, Here comes a blitz, huh? Yep. Nice play. And they are in the backfield. Oh, yeah. The ball's loose. The ball is loose. Highland acts like they've got the ball. Let's see what the call is. Oh, my goodness. There was a lot of excitement he there. He said he was down, huh? They come by Central. Nice defensive stance by Highland. Let's see if we can take a look at that uh, at this replay and see if we see the ball coming out here. Oh, the ball is definitely out on the ground, but we can't tell if. He needs to throw the flag out there and review the play. We just couldn't uh, tell if Smaller's knee was on the ground. <laughs> As it is, it's a loss, second and 12. Dante Jones. In motion. Well, this may be against the Scots. They may have jumped the gun unless they were pulled off. We'll see if they were drawn off. And yeah. they were. They were drawn off by the minute well, You know, you saw Frazier walking over, and you could tell by his body language that he knew it was offside by looked like the, uh It looked like the tight end yeah. pulled up a little quick. Jones was in motion. How do you think, Meg? Central's going to go deep, huh? Well, I might be inclined to double cover Mr. Larson. Oh, yeah. Possibly. Either he's going deep or we're going to quick pitch right, huh? So he's got single coverage with Cobbins out on the right side. Frazier's yeah, going deep. Yeah, he's going deep. Here comes the bubble screen. Nice play. He's still loose, and he's, he's in. He's out of the right hand he's side. Down. Nice job. That's too bad for Highland. They relaxed on that play. It was a great play by Central, though. Just a wonderful call. <laughs> yeah. And a great job of running by Dante Jones, number 28. I figured it was either going to be a quick pitch rate or. I thought they had him corralled. It yeah. looked, and they, yeah. they darn near got to the quarterback. Oh, yeah. Nice block by 54. There's a bad then he tackle comes there. Out of the tackle. He left his feet on the tackle, and that's why he didn't bring him down. Outside lamb, uh, linebacker Tyree Johnson was All not right. able to bring him down, so it's a big first down play. I haven't had him. Just inside the 40-yard line of the Scots. Muffed handoff. This fumble again. That ball was not handled very smoothly, and this time the Scots Highland's do have it. A huge break for the Highland Scots, and let's see what they can do with this break. You know, I'll tell you what, Meg, they need to score. They really do. And if I were, if I'm Coach Woodbury, the offensive coordinator for Highland, I'd run that ball. I'd just go ahead and line it up, bring the fullback out there, and let's see what they can do. Well, they've got Markham and the boys in the backfield. Yes. Eob under center. The ball's on about their own 45-yard line. First down. Eob's going to roll out to his right. He's got a block. And he's up over the 40-yard line. Job. Outstanding job by Eob. he got some nice blocks to help him turn yes, the he corner. Did. 15 yards plus on that play, Broderick. You see the fullback blocked? You gotta like these fullbacks. They can come in, they can play linebacker, then they come back on the other side of the line and lead the play. It's a nice block uh, by Zach Du Bois, too. Oh, yes. Absolutely nice block. First down on the 39, big play. Handoff up the middle to the tailback. And he gets about four yards on the play. I think that was Dominic Moore. Again, I, I have to talk about the full pick. You see the pile go back when he's going to throw the block? 
It's a nice job. Central's gonna have to step up and take him down. Second down and six on that four yard gain by the tailback. It's exactly the, the way you're supposed to play football right now, Highland Park. Boys is back in the tailback. Central's got to step up here and, and stop this, negate this. There's a play, there's a play. He bounces off, but he can't get away. And hanging on and making sure he didn't escape was uh, junior linebacker Michael Freelix. And here they are, just in that spot they don't want to be, third and 13. Yes. So we'll see what the play call is. Two receivers split out to the left. I'll tell you what. You got ISO left. And he's rolling left. They're chasing him. He's oh, looking down the field. And he's short. Nice job. Nice job by Central. Stringing that thing out. That's a tough play when you're a right-handed quarterback. Is. You're rolling to your left right. and trying to throw across your body. Right. You're moving, you've got to put a little something on it. All right. So that's a tough play to convert on. You, you need to just drop him straight back and let him just cut loose with it. So the Scots are thwarted on that drive. They get the punt off. Get some coverage. Heads up. There's a good punt here. Oh, no! Beautiful punt. Nice coverage. So Munoz, the young man that was injured on that play, at least he's able to punt, and now yes. he's coming. He's, Looks coming, like he's back. coming back in the game. Excellent job of uh, pooching that ball down there and pinning the Minutemen deep yeah. in their own territory. Looks like the ball is going to be on about the three-yard line. It's good to see Munoz back in there because now, now, he, now he came back out. He was hoping he could stay uh, stay in, but the coach. Coach put Steele back in. Did he? Yeah. Okay. Well, this is a game of field position. And yes. if they can hold. They're in the good minute, position. The minute men have got to get it out from underneath their own goal post. We got one and one all the way out there. Ah. I think somebody moved. Somebody jumped on the line for the minute men, number 71, it looks like. Half the distance. Which isn't too far. No. About a yard and a half. Yeah. Still first down. You look at Central, that last formation, his wide receiver was out wide. Yes, he which, was. Which leads me to believe that he was looking to throw a deep slant. But I'll tell you, uh, this young Mr. Cobbins, who's out there and he's got the single coverage, is a tremendous Here athlete. Is. He's out wide again. See that, that? He's open. There's nobody there in that little area. And they're just going to hand off and try and bust something up the middle, maybe with a quick opener. And Highland was having nothing of it. You know, and there's a rather large uh, fellow standing right there in the middle, number yeah. 95, Paul Simon. Yeah. These kids are big, I tell you. You know, you know what I say, Meg, the reason why these kids are so big, it's the hot lunches now, doggone it. <laughs> they feed them well. Oh, you know these guys eat nothing but vegetables. Absolutely, yeah. oh yeah. Fruits, <laughs> grains. Yeah, absolutely, all the good stuff. Second down. All in about the three yard line. Frazier drops back, looks up. Uh, Almost intercepted. There's a little bumping going on, but I think the official felt that the ball was overthrown. There was definitely some contact between the uh, between the uh, defensive the defensive back, but no call was made. He almost made a terrific yes, is, is one-handed interception. Is that the quarterback? Number eight. Senior Brunzel Looney was the fellow who made the play. He has the play. same body structure as the offensive quarterback, doesn't he? Nice job. Third down and about 12. Quick There's catch. that slant I was telling you about. Almost picked off. Beautiful timing. Yes. Beautiful timing. And there he is. I'll tell you, I am so impressed with this Prentice Cobbins. Oh. 
This kid is an athlete. Absolutely. But he knew he was out there on the island like that. I mean, he, he timed his uh, hit just perfectly and reached in and swatted that pass down. And I'll tell you what happened, what made that play. I was watching that split in for the past two plays. He wasn't moving after the snap. He's only going to move when he's going to get the ball, and then he can't not do that. Well, you got to anticipate that the Scots are going to have some excellent field oh, yeah. position. I Just. bet you they're going to start rushing on this one. They're going to try and get a block. Oh, yeah, here it comes. Ah. Flag down. Both of these coaches like to work with their special teams on those blocks, but especially Coach Howell. He's got central offside. So they may have reacted to the. Uh, yeah, they know it's coming. What was coming from the Scots and uh, pulled up a little too soon. So motion penalty. He's just about at the back of his end zone, looking to punt it out. His hail gets it off. Oh, there's a good nice punt. high hanging punt. Which Scott's got it. Number 85, Cummins is off around the left side, down the sideline. He made the run away. Knocked nice out return. of bounds inside the five yard line. Now, Meg, I'll tell you what, if he doesn't give it to that two back with the fullback lead. Uh oh, we got a flag. Oh, no. We've got a flag on about the 24 yard yeah, line. Yeah, but he's talking to a Highland guy. Well, but maybe the Highland guy is trying to plead his case. <laughs> <laughs> We'll see, we'll see. He may be out there doing a little lobbying. Okay. An <laughs> attorney, huh? Let's see what we can spot here. <laughs> okay, we've got. We don't oh, see anything oh, so yeah. far. Yeah, that one went against the Scots. So at the spot of the foul, so we're gonna yes. come back from the 24 yard. Oh my goodness, what a tough break. Yeah, it was a great run. So I'm guessing a block in the back or yeah. a hold of some like sort. He said, I think he said face mask. Wouldn't that either be five or 15? I, I, I don't know, it might, might have been unintentional. So it's first down for the Scots at the central 34 yard line and we've got about five and a half minutes to go in the third quarter. Yab under center. He's rolling out to his right. He's going to keep nice the ball, block, get around the corner. <laughs> Scampers out of bounds once again, trying to give him a block is DeBose. That was a good job by DeBose. See, two backs, they don't normally know how to block. Okay, Meg? And this, he actually made contact with the person he's supposed to block, and he kept his feet. That in itself is impressive. See, here he comes, here he comes, here he comes. See how he keeps his feet trying yeah, to drive him? Really That's did a, a nice block. job. Nice job. It's a great block. I'll get that fullback worker. There's a block for that fullback. There you go. Nice job. Rail down there. from behind by guess who? Oh, yeah. Jordan Larson. There is some head knocking out there, Meg. I'm telling you. Track nice job. Quarterback by, down from behind. Nice job by Central. Now you have to wonder, would you almost consider this two down territory, Bradrick? Absolutely. I mean, you're you're at the 34. If you could get half of it, right. you're willing to do a run play here. Right. See if you can get about half of that and then take a stab at a fourth down play. I hope he's not gonna center. pass over here because Central's waiting on it. He's looking downfield. Let's it go. And it is short. I'll tell you, number one, Eric, Eric Presley looked like he was running free, but his quarterback didn't see him, and so they are going to punt. See if they can pin him deep again. Keep the field position in their favor. Munoz is back, standing at about the 46-yard line of the Minutemen, waiting for the punt. Meg, I'm, I'm looking at the sideline for Highland, and it looks like the... The head ball coach is not and very it's happy right now. About the 10. Nice play. And immediately tackled. So the young sophomore, Montgomery, catches that ball right at about the 10 yard line and tackled almost immediately by the Scots. 
So once again, Central's pinned deep. And once again, the Highland defense is going to try and do its best to keep them here, see if they can get the ball back to their offense once again in yes. good position. Defense needs to step up. Central's line needs to go ahead and assert itself right now and move the ball down the line. Down the field, have a nice long drive. DJ Johnson gets the pitch. He's heading out to the right. He breaks free. And now we've got a flag thrown right at about the eight-yard line. I don't know if this is a face mask. Could be a face mask. Could be a holding penalty. I don't know. We'll see here. What do we got here? Here he comes. He's going to make the signal. In the back, Central. Yeah. So block in the back is block the call. in the back. I'll tell you what, if I'm Central right now, I'd keep it concise. Keep it concise. Nothing wide. You got a big fullback in there. Let's march it down the field. Soften up the middle of that defensive line for Highland. See if they can make some plays. Well, first down and about 12 to go. Ball in about the eight yard line. He's coming left. Here he comes. Nice counter. counter. Beautiful play. play. Great job. See, Meg, I'm going to tell you a little secret. Coach Howell used to be a fullback for St. Paul Central. That was one of his better, one of his favorite plays. So Michael Freelix on a, on just a nice counter trap. Absolutely. And he just is yeah. saying, who wants to step in front of me? Yeah. So a big gain out to the 25 yard line. That's a huge offensive play for the Minutemen. First and down at the 25. Here comes the tailback. Nice job by the tailback. Nice job on defense. Beautiful job in the open field on the Good. tackle yes. there by Tyree Johnson, yes. the outside linebacker. Had him one on one. Oh, yeah. But it was a good move by the tailback, also. So he picked up about four on that carry. Second and six coming up for Central. I'll tell you what, Meg, I wouldn't be surprised if we'd see that fullback one more time. Smaller is in a tailback. And he gets the ball and he's out nice the open and he's running free. And he's finally brought down on the tackle. I think it's by Cobbins. He sees something over there with Highland's left side. He seems to be going over there a lot. I think oh. what it is is that number 44 is playing both ways. He senses fatigue. Yep. It's a great thing about football. Find a weakness and attack it. <laughs> so nice job getting to the outside. Oh, yeah. the Iso right. Yep, here he comes well, again. He's, yeah, yeah, he sees something over on that right hand side there, or Highlands left. He put a fullback right there, the whole nine yards. It's an isolation. Here's an isolation cell. There's your fullback. He comes in. Yep. He's going to the wide gap also. Yep. He sees something over there. Steele and Markham were in on the tackle for the Scots, and so it's second and about three to go. Scots have got to make some adjustments right now. Uh, he brings the fullback left now. In isolation left. Yep, here he comes. Nice play by Highland. Boy, they shot the gap and they were in the backfield. Yep. There's Steele and Munoz, numbers 41 and 42 for the Scots. And boy, they just shot through the gaps. Well, and they... that's just exactly right, Meg. I think he did that just to, just to keep it kind of honest. I think he knows that there's something over on the left-hand side going on for Highland. And he's going to come right back at it, especially after a loss like that. So we've got a big third down play here, third down and about 10 to go. 
Now the ball's back inside the uh, central uh -oh. half of the field at 48. They're going deep. Nope, we're going on a quick slant over to uh -oh. Jones, and he's knocked out of bounds right away. I don't think there was any gain on the play. None. Nice job by Michael Jenkins. That is going to go deep. Senior cornerback. Just tried that little quick pass out in the flat. See what the receiver could do. I was fooled by Coach Howe. So the Scots have held. Yes. So Jenkins drops back along with Cobbins. Uh, he gets ready to punt. Highland needs to get a good return here. He gets off a nice hanging floater. There seemed to be some confusion over who was going to take it. But they hold on to the ball and they get it at about the 22. And flag. now we've got a flag. Boy, that seemed like a late flag, yeah. didn't it? Too many guys on the field? The officials appear to be counting. Yes. Yes. Too many players on the field Central. against Central. Ouch. <laughs> Think he'll have him do a do-over? I think he might because there seemed to be some confusion there on the part of the receivers as to who was going to take that punt. Yeah. I certainly would, wouldn't you? Oh, yeah. So they're discussing it right now with the captain? Yes. So too many men on the field for Central. Yeah, it looks like it's going to be a do-over. So the kicking team comes back out onto the field. Oh, that's a big one. Wow. You bet it's got to be a do-over. Yeah. Line of scrimmage moves back to the 32-yard line. Yeah. So. I, I think Highland needs to field this one. <laughs> So Cobbins and Jenkins need to see what they can make yes. happen here. Hale gets it off. Beautiful high kick. And it's Cobbins and he tries to find a lane and he cuts up field running hard. Almost to the 50 yard line. That was a very impressive run by Cobbins. You see him carrying the cat tackler. That was really good. Carried a tackle for about four yards, I yeah. think. So good field position for the Scots, the 49-yard line, and they just need to make something happen here. 20 seconds left, Rod, in the third quarter. Yeah. This has just been an incredible oh. stalemate here, just a hard-hitting third quarter. Great defensive plays on both sides of the ball. Just good football. Excellent football. <laughs> we'll see what the Scots have in mind here for what's probably going to be the last play of the third quarter. Shotgun formation. Straight drop. He's, he's going to run it up. And he stopped yeah. running. And it's intercepted. Oh, that's too bad. You're exactly right, Maggie. He stopped running. I he think the uh, receiver might have thought, well, maybe I'll just settle down into an open spot or something. Right. But the quarterback anticipated he was going to continue to run that route. Right. So the pass intended for Jenkins. Yeah, he stopped running. Is picked off by Jordan Osberg. So an interception. Well, that's a spot of a field where if you're going to try a deep pass, sometimes that's a good spot yes. to try it. About midfield. But, you but they don't look comfortable doing it, do no, they? No, no. <laughs> I think I can. <laughs> Ten seconds to go. Here's a quick pitch. And running hard is Johnson. He misses the first couple of tacklers. So DJ Johnson ends the third quarter. It, you know, Meg, you have to be impressed with the way both teams are running. They are doing an outstanding job. So he makes a couple of tacklers miss here. Look at this. Nice spin move, Quick picks up run. an extra three or four yards. Highland's doing it on the other end too. I mean, it, this is great football. Uh-oh. 
Maybe we'll find out how old you are in this no, trivia no, no, question. No. Oh, okay. Which school was the last team in the conference to record a scoreless tie? A scoreless tie. That had to be back like in. Were you playing in 1893? No, no, I think no, that's no. when the conference started. Stop. Uh, Concordia University, I, I'm going to say Highland Park. No, Central. Central. B, Central. Oh! <laughs> Why do they have the alma mater on, in, in the trivia comp? Concordia is a college. October 10th, 1969. Uh, Winstead, holy wow. Winstead, holy angels. I was thinking, uh, you know, kind of back in the day when the conference started, and Central was one of the four original schools in the yes. St. Paul Con City Conference. Yes. And back in the day, I don't know how many points they put up on right. the board at the start, but I was well, thinking I, that. I was trying to figure out when Winstead, when was Winstead in the. Uh, in the city conference. All right, let's <laughs> let's uh, buckle in for this fourth quarter and see what happens, Brad. Yes. Down and dirty. First down on the 30. Raise your hands off to Johnson, and he tries to cut around right in, and he's tackled immediately for no no gain. I don't well, I don't think. Yep, no gain on that place. So it's going to be third down and about six, I'd say. So once again, the Scots are hoping to. Stop this drive right here and now, and the Minutemen are going to do their best to pick up that first down, and here he comes. Yes. Larson's coming into the game, number 81. He's had a fabulous day on both sides of the ball for the Minutemen. Well, you know, he didn't even go in the huddle this time. You, you think maybe the play's to him? I don't know. We'll see. It's just been a great run. There it is. <laughs> it's that, just that quick. Yeah. I'll tell you what, if you're the uh, offensive coordinator and you see how far off they're going to play him when they only right. need six yards, and if they're back another five yards from there, why wouldn't you do that? Oh, yeah. But, and, and you can understand why a defensive back's going to do that because you go up and you jam the line and he gives you one quick shake and bake and it's a touchdown. But, but Meg, I'll tell you what, he's told his defensive back to get up there and he hasn't done it yet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you. So first down on that third down play. Ball's on about the 37 yard He's line. giving him space out there. There it is, there again. It is again. This yeah. time he gets a nice block by Jones and he picks up about five quick yards or four yards. I mean, he's off of him about 10 yards. Yeah. I mean, he cannot do that. You know, it's interesting because the linebackers, uh, when they shoot the gap, sometimes they, they seem like they're really close to getting in that passing lane, but Frazier's doing a great job of just zipping that ball out there and letting the talent. Highland, Highland needs an interior lineman to make a play right now. That's what they need. Step up and make a play right now. Larson split out to the right side now, and the, hand, and the uh, ball goes to the tailback. Breaks through the first line of defense and takes it almost out to midfield, but it's a first down for Central, and they're on the move, Broderick. Yes, they are. This could be a key point in the game because if Central can punch it in, that could really be the score that closes it down for Highland. Yes, I think so too. Highland needs a turnover or a you almost wonder if the defense has to score a touchdown. They need to stop. And off to the tailback, and he's nice hit play. immediately in the backfield. Number 42, the linebacker. I'll tell you, Steele is playing a great game. Yeah. Number 42, he did a real good job stepping in there and making David that play. David Steele, he's a senior. 6-2-205. Boy. He's had some great plays. And Munoz is back in there, too. I don't know if you noticed, but I think he finally talked the coaches into it. He's back out there, number yeah. 41. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he knew he wasn't going to stay. No. No. He's going to blitz right now. Here's a delay Here's handoff to the fullback. Up the middle. There's a counter again.
I'll tell you, that play has worked just about every time they've run it. Yes. I'll tell you, that's Coach Hall's favorite play. They've got the timing <laughs> down on this, and boy, the, the line is just. They're doing a nice job. You or I might have been able to run through that hole. Oh, yeah. We might not have gotten as far upfield, no, but I, I no. think we would have gotten past the line of scrimmage. Great yes. job by the offensive line. First, first down. And here's Johnson, and he runs into a stop on the right side of that defensive line for the Scots. I'll tell you, there he is again, Mr. Steele. This guy is a man possessed yes. on defense. He's got a nose for the ball tonight. Doing a great job. Second down and just a little over 10. And what's been a scoreless second half so far. Here they come, an all out blitz. And he's got his pass off to his fullback. And he brings it in. What a great job by Frazier. He just yes. kept his composure. Yes. That We've got a, another Highland Scott down on the field. That was a great job by Frazier. You know, there was some wonderful uh, all faking over him. with Look the at ball. This. Look at that. Nice fake. They're all over him, and he made that play. Super, Good catch by the super, fullback. Super play, but let's see if we can see who's down for Highland. This looks like they're looking at his knee. That's never a good sign. No. That was just an outstanding athletic play. Yes. Well it done was. by Terrell Frazier. He's had an excellent game tonight. He really has. I think his coaches are going to be pleased with the way he's handled himself under pressure and controlled the ball and moved his team up and down the field. When you look at it, he's a uh, young quarterback. There's a lot of talent coming back on the offensive side of the ball for Coach Howell. Yes. Got a junior quarterback, uh, DJ Johnson's a junior. Uh, and you've got uh, this Keenan Montgomery that they're so excited about, who's just a sophomore. And their fullback, Freelix, he's also a junior. So there's a lot of fellas coming back in the skill position. Yes. Not to mention number 81. <laughs> <laughs> he thinks he's a basketball player. <laughs> And he can play basketball, <laughs> by the way. Yes, he can. They're looking at the right knee of the young man who's down. The senior Steele was over on the sidelines talking to uh, Coach Zychek. He's getting up, and he's kind of coming off. He's kind of hobbling off. So it's number 95, Paul Simon, a junior, and he's had a great game for the Scots. Done a nice job in the interior of that defensive yes. line. Oh, well, he's running. He's up. He was up and he ran back. So, so that's a good sign. I think we're going to see him back. Yes, that is a good sign. It's a beautiful night out. It's a great night for football, and these guys are playing real good football out here. So Nick Appenzeller has come in to take his place. Jones in motion. Frazier under center. Gives it to his tailback, Johnson, and down he goes. And immediately making an impact is Appenzeller, the junior, 6'1, 225. Playing interior line. That's a great, he stepped up, made a play. Shed his, shed his block and made a play. That block and was right in the backfield and did a great job. Yeah. Nice job. So once again, they've got a loss. They seem to do a great job on that first down play, and then uh, relax. The Minutemen turned right around and have made some outstanding second down and long calls yes. on offense. Yes. About 6:45 to go when the ball is snapped. Larson again. He's out here by himself. Ball's on the 27. Nope, it's reverse. The reverse. Jones has got the ball. He's got the distance. He's almost in for the touchdown. Knocked off at the five-yard line. There's a flag. Gonna... We've got a flag on the play. We do have a flag on the play. 
Boy, that was set up nicely. Yes. Oh, my goodness gracious. Below the knees. Reverse. Boy, Jones just shifts it into an extra gear here. Yes. Gets to the outside and a nice tackle there coming over by Cobbins and also by Jenkins. All for naught. Wow. Yes. Huge play. Huge penalty. That kind of uh, takes the Scots off of life yes. support. Yeah, it does. <laughs> Sack it in a whole lot of real estate. So the Scots cheerleaders are doing their best to rally the fans, let the defense know they're behind them. Second down and a mile and a half. Frazier's back. A little dump pass off to his tailback, and he runs into his own lineman. Oh, man, yeah. Classic case for the tackle turnaround to see where he's at. So that's another loss. Linemen tend to do that from time to time. Well, well the I'm, only glad, I'm glad you're honest. <laughs> so we'll take a look here and. Uh, and you know the coach is going to talk to him about this one in film. Look at him yeah, turn around. Yeah, oh, yeah. my goodness. Yeah, I'm sure that never happened to you. No, never. Uh -uh. Mm -mm. I'm sure you always knew what color jersey. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Was you, you called it, Mick. Frazier drops back. It's a deep drop. Looking downfield. Running for his life. Let's it go. Intercepted. And there he is. I'll tell you, I am so impressed. Yes. With this young Mr. Prentice Cobbins. I think they need to put him out in the field on offense, too. Well, I think he <laughs> just made himself all conference, to tell you the truth. Gosh, he's played great tonight. Yes, he did. That was almost said the spider to the fly. Absolutely. He just was waiting for that pass. Oh, I like that, Meg. Spider to the fly. And bingo, there he was. Nice job. The Scots, you know, they've gotten the turnovers, they've gotten the stops. Now they need to score. They need to score. This is the one piece of the equation that's missing yes. so far tonight. It's an improper fraction, and that's scored. Shotgun formation. We got four receivers out to the left. Here's oh! Interception, and guess who? Number 91. Jordan Larson. Jordan Larson just dropped back into the passing lane. And took it. Well, you know, Meg, uh, yes. This is what right really there, hurts. Boom. You yeah. get the turnover and you turn it right back. Yeah. That, that is hard. Uh, you know, your defense has just made a great stop. Well, they're going to have to make another play. And now they're going to have to do it right again. And we'll yes. see. This will be a good test of this uh, heart of the Scots defense here. Exactly right. They're just going to have to make another play. That's just the way it is. It's football. Frazier back under center. Ball's on the 35. There's that counter again. There's a counter to the fullback. And there he goes for a first down. Now, now Meg, you want me to tell you the, the whole story behind the fullback counter? What is the whole story? Well, Coach Hall had this running back. His name was Vaughn Shepard. <laughs> yes. Vaughn Shepard, I've so, heard of him. So, so, so when Coach Hall got a chance to run that fullback counter like that. <laughs> he made the most of it. Absolutely. Well, Mr. Freelix has got to be averaging about 10 yards oh. or more every time he runs that play. Yeah, Freelix is having a great game. This time it goes to Castile Smaller, and he scats up off the left side for about a yard and a half, two yards. Of course, the thing that's really tough here is, is this taking time off the clock? Yes. Got about four and a half minutes approaching here left in the game. Yeah. And, uh, you know, the Scots, they're two scores down. So they've got to get that ball back in a hurry. Here, there's one of the legends in St. Paul on our screen right now. Steve Scroggins, great basket, uh, basketball great for, from Mechanic Arts, a legend. 
Jones comes in motion. The pitch goes to Steele Small. He cuts it back nice in and right into Mr. Steele. Hello. Steele is doing a just a fantastic job. I'll tell you, this kid's going to earn a game ball tonight. Oh, he yeah. has been all over the field. Getting up a little slow, but hanging uh, in there right. is tough is Tyree Johnson. He'll be around. I tell you, this this is uh, just a tremendous hard-hitting game. You know, some people think they want to see the big scores. I'll tell you, this yes. has been a great game to watch and call today. Yes. Just fantastic. Big third down play, about seven to go. Frazier drops back. He's going to lob it up. Look at that there. And a great defensive play by number four, Michael Jenkins. Nice job by Central's receiver to make sure he, he didn't get that interception. That's exactly right. He went up and he played defender. Yeah. Jones. Yeah. Great job. I would say that uh, this will definitely be four down territory. He does a nice job, Frazier, of. of uh, yes. It's a good job. Yeah, and, and, and had, uh, had he not done that, he would have he would have been a stern talking to from Coach Howell. Yeah, Dante <laughs> Jones did a good job. If I can't nice catch job, it, Dante. you won't either. Absolutely. What do you think? Fullback counter? Fullback straight up the gut. <laughs> no. It's gonna be a pass. Mr. Larson! Oh. And he's got it! Touchdown! Touchdown. Now he was due. That was a beautiful pass. Yes. Just a beautiful pass by Frazier. And that may be the proverbial nail in the coffin. Ah, it could be. You never know. It's unfortunate for Highland. Fourth down play. Just a big play. So they're going to see if they can kick it through. We're going to see if... Uh, Tell Mr. Hale can kick it through. Highland's defense played really good. Yes, they did. But when you're out there a lot, it, it can hurt you. Extra point, Extra point is no good. Let's, let's take a look at this pass and, yes. and uh, for the touchdown. Just, he just laid it out beautifully. He, the, he goes in, then he goes out. See that? Yep. And and it turned Mr. Uh, Coggins around, Coggins around, and yeah. uh, and it was just a nice double move. Yes. Double move on the route for the touchdown. Well, Larson's so. a great athlete. I mean, no, don't, uh, you know, make no mistake about it. This kid can play ball. His problem is he has the disease. That's <laughs> called basketball. Yeah. <laughs> He'd rather play with a, a ball that doesn't have points on right. it each end. The problem is he's a football player. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, he certainly proved that tonight. Yes. He's just had an absolutely tremendous game. Yes. Outstanding job. Both sides of the ball. He's had uh, interceptions. Yes. And, uh, just done a great job. I think Coach Hall can, will have any problem convincing him that he's a football player now, huh? It's a great night for him. So Central takes a timeout. Uh-oh. Boy, I tell you. Well, we're 50-50 so far, buddy. How many ties have been recorded in conference history? Now, I got to remember, conference started in about 1893. I'll what take D. You're going to take B? Yeah. That's because that's your age, 29. No, 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 no. Uh, I'll take C. Two for three. Stop. Mine like a steel trap. Absolutely. Unbelievable amount of sports historic yes. trivia trapped in my brain. I think I just rolled the dice and got lucky. No, no, no. All right. Let's see if someone can get a good run back here for the Scots. We've got Cobbins and Jenkins back deep. Frazier's going to kick it off. The, 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 the 
goes Squibber that's picked up by Cobbins and he breaks free. He's got one man to beat, it's the kicker. And that Frazier brings him down. What are the chances of having your kicker also be your quarterback? A, cor a quarterback that can tackle. See, that's just it. Now, I don't want to offend the kickers of the world, but no. how often do you see a kicker make a tackle like that? Uh, no, 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 no. A quarterback make a tackle, okay? A quarterback. Blake Cobbins is just looking for that seam, and he finds it and accelerates. And he just... He tripped up. <laughs> great, great saving tackle. Nice job by that young man. By the quarterback turned kicker. The quarterback tackled him. Meg, let me tell you something about this game. I've seen some real quirky stuff happen between Central and Highland. Trust me. I'll tell you what. Think he's going it, for two, huh? They, they gave it to their Mr. Everything, Zach DuBois. Zach DuBois. He was wide open. Look at this. He's rolling out to his left, squares himself around. Let's it go and hello all by himself uh -huh. out there in the open. Number 80, Travis Zenda. What a play. All right. He needs to convert. Scots are going to go for two here. That is a fact. The boys is in the shotgun. He's rolling to his right. He's, he's got open. a man open and he's got it. <laughs> you have to love it, huh? You do love it. His, his fullback, Randy Markham. We're down 10. <laughs> you think we might see an onside kick? No, 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 no. No, too early? Yes. <laughs> three, three minutes left to go in this game. Well, you know, Just a he great job. Buys himself some time and there nice he is. play. To the just, fullback. Just went to the back of the end zone and oh, sat yeah. down and said, here I am. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I would say that. Uh, yeah, here comes a squibber. I would say that Zach DeBoer's. He's, uh, he's, he's got all the sure hands people up front. <laughs> oh, yeah. Got all the infielders in there. This is where I always like that. Sometimes you, you think about that little pooch kick that kind of goes just behind that wall, you know? Yeah. Well, we got some excitement in the stadium now, and that's oh, yeah. just terrific. I mean, if nothing else, for as hard as they fought and as hard as they played, you, you wanted to see Highland cross that goal line, and that was a, a, just a tremendous series of three plays. This game is long from over. All right, Seuss there. Let's see what happens. Absolutely. There uh -huh. it is. Uh -huh. It's one guy bouncing around a little bit, picked up by Small. There's a good block there. And he's out to the left, forced out of bounds. Now, I believe that the uh, Highland Scots have all their timeouts left. Yes. I don't think I recall them taking a timeout. No. No. Uh, so I think they still have three in their pocket. How many is, I think Central has w two, two. Two, yeah. I think they have two left. Yeah. And, uh, they used one. They've got the ball on their own 45 yard line right now and you know they're gonna wanna eat that clock as best they can. Frazier under center, offset. Backfield, and there it is. It's the old counter to the fullback, and this time they stop it for about five yards. Freelix really runs that well, doesn't he? Yeah, he does. I mean, he 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 is very patient. Uh, usually, your counter, he takes a jab step and goes into the hole. It's an inside handoff, the whole nine yards. The Frazier 
does a good job of handing it off, selling that play. It's a good, it's a good play. It's Coach Hall's play. Second down at five. Frazier under center. Gives it to his tailback. Johnson. Boy, he is met right at the line of scrimmage. Highland's got and a tall there's timeout. There's a timeout. We've got about two minutes left in the game. So here we are, third down. The head ball coach is going out there to talk to his troops. Both of them. What a fabulous game tonight. Absolutely. Well, I think number two is going to go back in the lineup. You see him warming up on the side. <laughs> We're going to throw it again. Oh, yeah. You know, you keep uh, <clears throat> hearing the new gopher football coach, Coach Brewster, and he's always talking about how he wants his players to play with, uh, you know, passion and yes. energy. Well, boy, have we seen passion on the field out here tonight. No, Good Meg. heavens. Where did Coach Brewster go to college? I thought you'd never ask. Yes. I believe it was in the middle of a cornfield down okay. in uh, central Illinois. Colors are orange and? Orange and blue. Okay. Uh, we like to call ourselves the Fighting Illini. The fighting some people, Illini, okay. Some people don't like that fighting in front of the Illini, but we are the Fighting Illini, and we're going to take on Penn State Nittany Lions tomorrow. Okay. Let's see if we can uh, take the stuffing out of those fraternal troops. Yes. All right, big play. Third down, five to go. Going to see that quick pass in the flat? No, it's a counter. The reverse. It's the reverse. I don't know, they might have it slipped out. Nice job on the run. Oh, is this close? It depends on the spot. Wow, what a run. I'll tell you, he earned that one just about all on his own. I think he's got it, first down. Trevon Smaller. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Yes. Let's take a look here. Here comes the, the reverse. Here it is. Nice job. Coach Just Howell. missing in the uh, backfield there, I think, was Steele. And look at that, boy. He froze a couple of guys and coming all the way from behind. Nice stiff arm. Coming all the way from behind was yeah. Cobbins. Trailed him all the way across the field. But a huge, huge first down for the Minutemen. Yeah. Clock stop at the minute 54. This time he's heading off to the left side. He's got a block. Another first down. And this is where this talent in the backfield and talent at the running back position. I mean, you look at the players he can keep running out yes. there. Yes. Yes. Johnson and Smaller and Freelix, and when he needs to, he can take Montgomery out there. How about Frazier and his decision making? I mean, he's yeah, he's done a great job tonight. The coaches are going to be yeah. pleased. He's managed a good game. Absolutely. And off to the big fullback, and this time, which there is the, he is, Mr. Steele. Which is the right play. He's going to force a timeout here. If not, it's just going to keep ticking. Yeah. So the Scots <laughs> take the second timeout. We've got about a minute and a half to go. The ball's on the 35. <laughs> I wonder how many yards Mr. Freelix has tonight. He's doing a real good job, isn't he? Yeah, uh, he's, he's had a great game. I mean, they, just run they the ball have, tough. Uh, they're actually going to come out and they're going to measure, but this was not an official's timeout. This was when it was. Well, now I think Coach uh, Zajac is asking. You know, who called? It is. That's the first down. <laughs> you know, Meg, the Freelix family. You know that that's part of the Central's tradition too. <laughs> I mean, you know, the Freelixes have, done, have been major contributors in the athletic field at Central. They, the Freelix brothers were good wrestlers back in the early 70s. I can believe that. They were very good wrestlers, Stanley and John. He's following along in their footsteps. He's just a great, tough kid. First down on the 35. Hand off goes to the tailback. DJ Johnson takes it up for about five yards. Oh 
So the Scots have taken their last time out, if my Illinois math is correct. <laughs> Got a minute and 10 left to go in this game. Oh boy, what a fabulous, fabulous football game. Yes. Now it'd be interesting to know uh, what's been happening over at Bakken Field tonight with uh, Harding hosting Como. Yes. Because that's that, a game that has an impact. Absolutely, with Johnson winning last night against Humboldt, uh, uh, Como needs to step up and win this game. Some interesting Park. young talent in this conference right now. I'll tell Adam you that. Park's going to uh, finish out their uh, conference season with Humboldt and Hardy after this game. So we'll draw play again. Tailback and hanging on for dear life. Another person down for Highland Park. Oh boy. He's getting up though. He yep. doesn't want. To, he doesn't want to get out. He's been. He's been uh, struggling a little bit there. Number 25. I know he's been hurting. He doesn't want to come out. See that, Meg? Yeah. Look at him. <laughs> They're pushing him out of the huddle. Tyree Johnson. He's a junior. He wants in. Those are my kind of guys. Uh, he doesn't want to lose. He wants to. He's giving it all out effort. I think Zach. I think Zach Dubose thought he was going to be coming in. Well, I think yeah, he's, he, he's not doing well. No, he's coming out. He's played tough. I'll tell you that right now. They've all played tough. Yes. Uh, all of these players have acquitted themselves very well. Oh, on the absolutely. Highland has nothing to be ashamed of. Yep, victory formation. There's nothing the Scots can do. No. We're going to tick down here on what's been a fabulous game. For the score right now, 18 to 8. He's going to wait to let the, clock, let the clock go down a little bit more and take a snap and drop down on the knee. So when it came down to it, Broderick, it was a combination of Terrell Frazier and Jordan Larson. Yes. With a lot of uh, good lot help of from their teammates, but, but the big plays, they made the big plays, those yes. two. So the musket stays with at the Central. Minutemen for another year. For another year. Three years in a row in this in this rivalry. And this is a tough one to for the Scots, I know. They wanted this one, but they acquitted themselves very well. So shake hands and know that you were in a great contest, gentlemen. Yes. We certainly enjoyed watching you play tonight. So as we look at the conference standings, Central will go to three and two, and the Scots will fall to two and three. Two and three. And then we'll be anxious to uh, pick up the sports section in the morning and see what happened over on the east side. Oh yeah, without a doubt. This has been a well-played game, and I am extremely impressed with both teams. They Very well coached. A, a well coached team. So that's how the standings are looking right now. Uh, but we don't have the results yet on the uh, on the game between Como and, and uh, Harding. Central's in a tough region, and they need to they need to have this win. They are in a very tough region. Uh, we had a chance to talk to. Uh, uh, Coach Howell about that, and uh, they've got Hastings and Woodbury and yeah. Creighton, and I think they've got uh, Simley. Yeah, that team over there on 
Randolph Avenue. Randolph and uh, Albert. Albert, yeah. And uh, they were playing, I think they were playing Roosevelt tonight at right. home. We know about that team, don't we? We do, and there it is. <laughs> There's, uh, I believe that's the musket. There's the musket. There is the musket. Now, now that's much easier to, you know, when you have to try and lift a pig up in the air, <laughs> or you know, much, much more impressive to have a musket. Oh, yeah. Especially if you're a Minuteman. Yes. Let's take a look at some of the uh, highlights, and there were a lot of them in this game. And you know we had highlights on both sides, but There's here we Jordan. go with uh, just a wonderful job of maintaining his concentration because yes. uh, that ball was batted up in the air and he came down with it. And here he is on that. Yeah, that slant. Slant uh, heading right to the goal post there. Yep. Just a beautiful play. The thing that was most impressive about that play is how the linemen were able to make a path for the for the quarterback to throw that ball. Here's the young sophomore Montgomery. He bounces off that first uh, tackle and gets a nice return on the punt. This is a kid that we're going to enjoy watching the next couple of years. Look at the and way that, Frazier just steps up in there like that. Nice job. Beautiful job. Uh, this was a young man who acquitted himself with uh, yes. a lot of talent tonight on the field, Mr. Cobbins. And a beautiful job. Look at that one-hand catch. We saw... Uh, what an athlete there, huh? We saw Frazier do that a lot, too, in terms of standing in the yes. in the pocket. Well, the decision he made when he dumped it off to Freelix, the fullback, I like to see that one. I hope they caught that on film. Here's that last There's touchdown. There's the last touchdown, yeah. And that was just a nice double move on that route, and he got his defender turned around, and, boy, Frazier laid it right out in the corner. And then here he is. Here comes our pass. Whatever you need from me, Coach, I'll try and do it. Yes. And just a beautiful touchdown play. Now, you know, Meg, I'm going to have to talk to the Zenda. people out, out in the truck. Uh, this is a nice pass here. But we, we need to get more uh, replays of line play, okay? We just need to. An, an, an old lineman like, you know, somebody I know needs to see line play. On that note, okay. while everyone goes home tonight and dreams about all the, the highlight plays that they've seen of linemen over the years, yes. <laughs> Roderick Bell and yours truly, Meg Stevenson, say goodnight from James Griffin Field. Good night. Be well, everyone. Take care.